me on. <laughs> What's up, guys? How's everybody doing out there? It is the end of the month, and it is time to answer those questions that you so graciously bestowed upon your alpha. I appreciate that, my pack, as always. Ten people drop the questions. Drop two questions. So ten people times four each. There you go. Right here. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, look, I'm here to answer your questions, guys. Um, hope everybody's well as always. Let's do this. Um, this should be really fun. Uh, really fun to see uh, the questions. I have not really looked at any of the questions. I just get notification when someone leaves uh, questions on my post. So I never really went to go see what the questions are. So whenever I got notification, I was like, okay, somebody dropped the, dropped four questions. Boom. Oh, dropped another one. And right before I'm about to record this, the last set four came up, and uh, I'm gonna do that later. But we're going to go in kind of the order that they were bestowed upon me. So, what does that mean, Chris? You may be asking, well, oldest to newest. And the first one comes from uh, Caroline. And uh, uh, she asks me four questions. Four questions. All right. And they all seem to be bestowed upon comic-related questions, which is fine. Okay. So, first question is, what are five things... You're hoping the MCU gets right about the X-Men. Five. Um, Jesus Christ. One. Uh, don't shove every X-Men character into one movie. So you start, my opinion, start with the original five. Gene, Bobby, Hank, Warren, Scott. If you want to throw... Alex and Lorna in there, you know, that's fine. That's it. Don't center everything around Magneto. That was the problem I had with the Fox version. Everything was centered around Magneto. Leave Wolverine out of it. I'm telling you, that would be a smart business. Smart. Leave Wolverine out of the X-Men until maybe the second, the third movie. And then you, you do giant size X Men. Um, what's that? That's that's three. Um, introduce other villains like Mojo, Mister. S God damn, Mister. Sinister better be in this. And I guess you could say number five. Look at everything Fox did, and be like, we're doing everything better. There you go. Uh, no, if Storm does show up in Black Panther 2, how do you think it should play out? Um, wherever the story of, wherever the story of Black Panther 2 was going to go, and she has some involvement in it, let her help. Maybe kind of send signals that maybe, hey, T'Challa's into, you know, into, into Aurora that way, but maybe not. Uh, because in, um, in the MCU, she still has a thing, I guess you could say a thing for Nakia, and there's been no signs of her becoming a villain, because Nakia is actually a villain, she's not a, she's not a good guy, um, so if they do do that, have her do whatever she's gonna do to help Storm help, but eventually she goes to help somewhere else in Africa, maybe Kenya or somewhere else, and then, of course, she gets a, a call or she gets she gets invited by a certain gentleman in a wheelchair. There you go. Uh, if Mystique and Rogue appear in Captain Marvel 2 or in any other future of Marvel, how do you hope they are portrayed? Same thing as always. Portray them homage to the comics. Homage to the comics. Yes, Mystique. And Rogue, yeah, play off the villain role. Like, she's a mistaken villain. She, Rogue is being kind of used because of her abilities to absorb the 
energy or in, in metahumans and mutants, she can absorb their powers. And yeah, basically show Mystique is a is she doesn't she doesn't really care about her stepdaughter. She don't care about anybody but destiny. Her lover. That's it. So yeah, kinda of play that off. Keep it homage to the comics. And I keep hearing all these stories about that Captain Marvel 2 is gonna be similar in the way they kinda of shot uh, Captain America Civil War because kind of people call that like Avengers 2.1 or something like that so yeah um, and what other X-Men characters are you hoping it will appear or at least be referenced in any other films and shows that's too hard because I want them all um, you know uh, if anything I would love to hear Firestar be mentioned somewhere down the line uh, she is a mutant, but she didn't join up with the X-Men until later. Uh, if you know the comics, when she was introduced, she's one of those characters that was introduced through an animated series, then got incorporated into the comics. Same as X-23, as Harley Quinn. All those characters, characters like that. So, yeah, I would love to see Firestar. I know there's all these rumors that um, uh, MJ or... You know, uh, Michelle, uh, played by Zenyatta, uh, is actually, they're saying that she's actually Firestar, and I'm like, that's stupid, that's stupid that she's of age, her mutant power should have been manifesting already, I haven't seen it, so no, um, so yeah, uh, villains, like I said, I would love to see Mojo, I'd love to see Doctor, uh, not Mr. Sinister, the Ravengers, the, 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 um, the Marauders, anybody, ex I don't mind Magneto, I love Magneto, but do not shove Magneto down our throats, there are other great X-Men characters, and hell, even more, stay away from Phoenix right now, stay the fuck away from the Phoenix, excuse my language, Stay the hell away from that because it has been proven that so far Fox had two shots and got two strikes out. But I would not mind them bringing the Shi'ar. Thank you for the questions, Caroline. Moving on. All right, let's see what else. I said. Let's see. Next up, Timothy Leader. Who got you into the like? Who got you into liking wrestling and comics? One simple person. My dad. Answer quick and simple. My dad. I'm not gonna really go into details, but if you want, there are uh, there's a video long. A video, I did a video a long time ago explaining how I got into comics, who got me into comics, things like that. You gotta just go find it. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll put it, I'll find it for you, maybe I'll put it up somewhere, but yeah, I'll, I'll my, short and sweet, my dad, my dad, uh, he, he watched, he, he read when he was a kid, he watched wrestling as a kid, my grandfather watched wrestling, my grandfather goes, God bless this, went back as far as uh, Chief J. Strongbow, you know, so yeah, as far as I know, so my dad, alright, next up, Solomon the Hooded, What's up, Solomon? Uh, who would be your actor for the um, oh, Moon Knight Disney Plus series? Who would I want to play Mark Spector? Um, I am a huge Moon Knight fan. Oh, man. Pardon me, Carl Urban. I'd love Carl Urban to probably play it. I know there's a lot of people saying, please get a Jewish actor. I, 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 I understand where some people are coming from with that. Yes, Mark Spector is Jewish. He's, he's Jewish. He's, he's originally from Chicago and things like that. But I think Carl Urban can knock that, that role out of the park. Um, yes, he was in a Marvel show already as the executioner. But didn't he die? If I, remember he, I think he died. I, I can't be wrong. I think he died. So, hey, bring him back. Give him that shot. Mark Spector. I wouldn't mind. Uh, that's just one. 
Uh, the question, have you played Ghost of Tsusame yet? No, I have not. I have not touched it yet. Um, so no, I have not. In that, in, in that matter, I haven't played, no. Uh, do you still feel New York, uh, New York Comic Con will happen? Honestly, Solomon, I don't think so. Um, there have been no words about if it's getting canceled, and yeah, we're still a couple of months away from New York Comic Con 2020, um, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, and it's sad. I do miss going to comic conventions. Like I said, this year, I was supposed to be before New York, I was supposed to be at two com conventions. It didn't happen because of the pandemic. Um, I don't think Baltimore Con is going to happen because I wanted to go there. Um, I don't think any of the last conventions of 2020 are going to happen. Um, I don't think anything is happening. If it does, it's going to be online and everything like that. But if it does happen, I don't know if I'll even go because that's, that's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. All right. Fourth question. Should Wolverine get a MCU solo movie first? Hell yeah. Um, Wolverine, as popular as that character is, he's a popular X-Men. No doubt about it. But he needs to be in his own movie, personally and me, his own movie where we can maybe see Alpha Flight and people like that. And then, of course, at the end of that movie, maybe the end trailer or the you know the end end um scene end credit scene we see uh someone maybe maybe puck or someone say hey logan there's some guy want to see you and and he goes to go see him or something like that and and Wolverine is just like who are you and then they they kind of turn around and you see i'm charles xavier i need your help into the sequel of X-Men, which is homage to giant size X-Men, with the all-new, all-different X-Men team. You know the team. I don't need to tell you. Just saying. Alright. Um, next up is uh, Travis Tipton. Uh, uh, first question is the same again. Uh, have I played uh, Ghost of Suzama, I have not touched it yet, like I said before, um, so, no. Uh, what are your thoughts on Evil beating, oh, Evil beating Naito, I heard about it, um, I didn't watch it, but I heard about it, I'm kind of confused, I was like, wow, you know, I was a little shocked, I'm like, what, really? Uh, but it happened. Uh, what is your favorite episode of Samurai Jack? Uh, that's kind of hard because I have a lot of favorites. I think one of my favorites when he, he met the Scotsman. I, I love that. Their, their meeting when they finally met each other. And of course when later on <laughs> he came back in another episode, that was fun. Um, another episode is where he helped the... Um, He helped those apes that helped them learn how to jump better. Um, and then, you know, at the end of it, uh, Aku was like, but you can fly? No, jump really good. And it was, it was good. Uh, have you watched a high school uh, uh, DX? Of the, no, I haven't watched it yet. Thank you for the questions. Next up comes from E. Hill, e. Hill N. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, what's on your to-do list after the quarantine? Uh, get laid. No, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Not really. Uh, kinda not joking. That kinda. No, but, um, go on more dates. Uh, definitely. Um, meet that, definitely meet that special somebody. Meet up with somebody that I've been wanting to meet up. I was supposed to take a trip to Philadelphia and um, I didn't go because of what happened and you know, I 
miss talking to her, so that's one thing for sure. Uh, but what's what's going on in Common Rider world? I don't know, cause I'm not. I don't watch Common Rider. Uh, your next show is who's your favorite Common Rider? Like I said, don't watch Common Rider. I got respect for it, but I'm not a big Common Rider fan. Never have been. You know, I'm not. It's not like Ultraman to me or Super Sentai or Power Rangers. You know, I'm. I'm those are kind of the two I like. Anything you're looking forward to in 2020? Yeah, kind of getting back to somewhat of a normalcy of like conventions, traveling, things like that. I had so much plans for this year that everything got cut because of this damn. But the perfect thing is just gotta stay safe. Like, stay safe. So, yeah. Thank you for the questions. Uh, moving on to Tony Montana. Uh, taking the negative side of the virus aside, it could be an opportunity in the movie industry for writers and creators to really work on their stories, and especially in the movie industry where people ex ex expect faster like MCU did with three movies. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, pretty much. But you can kind of see that the pandemic has not stopped that kind of process. Filming, yeah, but the process of people still working and things like that, coming out with new scripts and everything like that, still going, you know? So yeah, um, next up. Spider-Man Far From Home is a bit con contrastatory. Contrast I'm, I'm butchering the name of it. They said Peter should be himself, not Iron Man, but then he builds a suit with Spark Tech as a post, uh, and they play Led Zeppelin kidding uh, I know it's ECD in the background what do you think I, you can't really look at it like that like I understand that people were like oh yeah he's just Iron Man 2.0 but Peter's made suits before too it's like it's not that's not uncommon Spider-Man has made suits technical suits so when he was making a new suit I'm like that's Peter right there there you go yeah he's got help he, yeah a little bit of help but still that's no, I, I can't I can't agree with that. Yeah, he should be doing some other things, but that right there, when you see him make a new suit to face off against Mysterio and things like that, fine. When he when he later on when he constant battles with Electro made him decide to do what? Make the insulated suit. So, constant battles with Rhino made him to do what? Make the first original silver and black armor suit. So yeah. He's gonna make suits. Peter's like that. That's him too. So that's mm, sorry. As a reader, a comic, long time comic, reader, I didn't see anything wrong with that at all. Uh, Adam Smasher will be in the future Black Adam movie. That is correct. Uh, what do you think he is going to bring into the film? Well, he's probably gonna be a part of the JSA because that's what they're saying. The JSA is gonna be in the. Black Adam movie, so uh, Adam Smasher is, he, he can get big, he can get tall, you know, things like that, so we're probably going to see their version of of a giant character like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, like, um, you know, when Ant-Man does Giant Man, which, uh, you know, having said that, you know, I think it is time for them to just have a giant man and an ant man so you know what I'm saying but I'm looking I'm scared because I love the JSA and to me they still dog the JSA the Justice Society of America Star Girl has them and I was thinking oh they're gonna have the originals no they killed off the originals and, and I'm like what the and, and now they got this new version I'm like okay but I want to see the real Ted Grant Wildcat, not, I want to see Jay Garrett, I want to see, you know, our man, the real, you know, I don't want to see these newer versions, you know, but it's, it is what it is. I don't hate the Star Girl show, it's just, I really wish they had a, didn't kill them all. JSA gets no respect sometimes, I hate that. There are fans that want Ben Affleck to come back as Batman, despite the fact that he went through depression, alcoholism, a divorce, and people constantly talking about Batman when he's thrown on the movie. 
Do you think he could come back, or that is is too unhealthy for him to come back to? That, that depends on him. Um, if he's strong enough, I'll just put it like that. If he's strong enough, yeah, I'm come back. You know, come back. Maybe I didn't mind him. You know, to me, he was the the most athletic, most combat driven Batman. Like, what I mean by that, I mean, I could see everything the guy was doing when he was fighting. He felt like what I wanted Batman to feel like in terms of his fighting ability. Like, I hate the close quarter stuff, and and I don't like Nolan's Batman as a, as a fighter, because all he is is a fucking brawler. Excuse my language. I'm trying not to curse. It's, it's sometimes hard when a you know, hurricane starts coming out. Um, I, I didn't like him as he, the fights between him, Rachel Gore, him and Bane, they just looked like common street fights. And I was just like, he's like, no, there's no technique. So when you saw him in Batman, you know, him telling that guy how to take out the other guy, I'm like, yeah, that's Batman. You look at all the Batmans before. You barely see him. They don't give an outside perspective, like, they always zoom in on him fighting instead of zooming out where we can see what this guy is doing. Is he throwing kicks? Is he countering? You know, is he side, you know, what is he doing? And Batman v Superman, that scene alone looked straight out of Arkham Asylum and I loved it. That's probably one of the best scenes I've seen Batman in, in movies, period. Uh, next up, Marion. Uh, some Batman fans say if Batman were to kill Joker, the Joker wins. Do you agree with that? Uh, so, yeah, kind of, a little, a little. Um, and if Batman kills, you know, more likely he'll do it again. Um, that is one thing I will always love and respect about Batman is his somewhat code of not killing, you know. And, and I love it. Like, and remember in Red Hood, he said it. You, God, you don't think I've ever thought about doing it? Every night. But if I, I cross that line, there's no turning back. I'm going to do it again. And then that's not good for him. That's not good for any of the Robins, anybody, Alfred, anything. So, yeah, it kind of will in some way. And it may change him a bit. Arkham Asylum, Ar the Arkham City... Um... Games act Darkham games actually showcased when they actually did the and killed Joker like we started kind of losing it for a bit. It was like it's almost like he needed Joker. Um, uh, what was the worst thing you seen Kane do to someone in WWE? For me, it was when he set there on fire. That and basically when he supposedly raped uh, Lita. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says, you fucking rape Lita, okay, to get, sort of get her pregnant, you know, the whole pregnant Lita storyline, he raped her, okay, um, you know, okay. but yeah, the JR, setting JR on fire, that, that definitely is one. Uh, out of all the Bigfoot-like creatures reported seen around the world, I am a big cryptic, uh, which one do you think is most violent and aggressive and most likely to attack humans? Bigfoot-like creatures. I don't know. Every time they talk about people seeing Bigfoot or something like that, they always say that they get rocks thrown at them. Almost like this creature is warning you, I'm in the area, leave me alone. But I've always said it like this, like, the moment you see it, don't run. You gut your teeth. I'm like, I gotta get closer just to see. If it starts coming at you, then you run. But I don't know. You know, any animal can be aggressive if they feel threatened. Even cryptids. Who do you think is the kin kindred? Is the Oh, who do you think is the kindred in the new Spider-Man comic? I don't know. We have to... I'm, I'm hoping for what's-name to get back to that story. 
he hasn't gotten back to it yet. He's he's doing all these new stuff, and right now they just brought in a, a classic character, Sin Eater. I was like, God, when's the last time we saw Sin Eater? I was like, what? So, yeah, I don't know. Thank you for the question. Next up, Kuma. Uh, what would Inuyasha and his group think of Deadpool? It's crazy. Uh, probably think he was some kind of demon. Definitely. Uh, two, do you think Dante would try to hit on uh, Rukia from Bleach? I don't think so. I think, but no. Maybe. I, babe. I think he'd call it babe once. Uh, do you think Solid Snake and Raiden from Metal Gear would join G.I. Joe? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, and the reason why is because they would want to just live out their lives in peace. And, or with Raiden, it was more like he's already, he doesn't need a team like that. Uh, to kind of slow him down, you know, that would kind of take the fun out of him being like a one-man work team. Snake would, you know, no thank you. I appreciate it, but I appreciate it. Well, thanks. If M. Bison had children, would he be a good father? Hell no! Bison had children? Hell no, he wouldn't be a good father. This dude would try to turn, he would... This dude would make his child in his spitting image. You talk about giving a child a good childhood? Forget that. Hell no. Thank you for the question. Next up, Dark Front. Uh, that's a nice Spider-Man costume. The guy who's wearing a jump, jump into my, Oh, yeah, because I put a, a picture of it when I was at last year's you know, Comic Con. And I took a picture of a gentleman. Spider-Man. I wasn't in my Spider-Man costume, but he was in his. He's really cool dude. Uh, with the Marvel Disney Plus shows being delayed, how would it affect the streaming service since there's no new content coming out, coming other than the uh, Mandalorian uh, season two? I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna stop because one, we got all that that good, memorable content from classics. Outside of that stuff, I, I know that 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 Hamlet, that Ham, 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 um, Hamilton or Ham, show musical is killing it. People are loving that. That's not my cup of tea. I mean, I do like musicals, but it's all right. But for me, when I go on the Disney Plus, I'm watching all the classic stuff. I'm just like, I'm loving it. Like just recently, uh, last week, I was uh, just a couple of days ago, I was watching two favorite Disney uh, Disney movies. Uh, I have them in my my collection already, but it was cool to just sit and watch. I was watching The Rescuers Down Under, one of my favorites, and I watched The Sword and the Stone. So, nah, I don't think that it's going to hurt. Um, Zack Snyder said that his Justice League cut will not be like uh, Josh Whedon put out. Would you uh, would you like to see the most, what would you like to see the most in Snyder's cut? I don't really care. Honestly, I don't. I don't really care about it. Um, I wish it the best, but I just don't care. I really don't care. Sorry, I don't. Uh, what are your thoughts on X-Men movies being put on Disney Fox? Uh, plus starting with Days of Future Past. Um, I, I was a little shocked at that. I was like, whoa, they Days of Future Past story, why aren't the others? They have the right to put those movies on. They own those now. So, it is what it is. Uh, did you watch the trailer for the new Transformers uh, show, animated show or movie? Um, and what do you think about it? It's an origin. It's going to be, it's going to show the origin of how Optimus became the leader of the Autobots and how Megatron became the leader of I'm all for Thank you for the question. And last but not least, from B Bone Rainmaker. Say that ten times fast. All right, thoughts on Haley uh, Steinfield as Kate Bishop? I've heard this, and I think it is now true that 
we have found our Kate Bishop for Hawkeye. Um, it's Haley Steinfield, who at one point I remember saying she is not going to be it. So, once again, being a big swerve for people to say, them saying, oh, when, when, you know what, I, you know what, when you start hearing actors and actors saying, no, I'm not going to be in that, believe that they are because they're just trying to throw you off. Um, and if you don't know who she is, she was the girl who was in the Bumblebee, the Bumblebee movie. Um, I'm cool, you know, all right, we got Katie, we got Kate Bishop, cool. Um, and as Kevin Feige said, these characters are going to be, they're not just one and done off character. We're going to see them in future movies as well. Great. If that means we're going to get Katie Bishop somewhere in a Young Avengers movie, great. I'm down. Cool. Uh, thoughts on Toph from Last Ambender getting her own graphic novel. Excellent. I'm, I'm so glad to see that Dark Horse and all of them are still putting out content from this great series. Giving other characters outside of just Aang story. Toph has could have has a great background and to do we see where she where she was after the airbender. I mean, one of the biggest things problems I had with um uh Korra was when they would do the flashbacks of older Aang and all of them, and I'm like, man, I wanted to, I wish they'd have went with this before that, I wanted to see older Aang, how he was as the Avatar, older Toph, how badass she got, you know, all that stuff, but we didn't see that, so it's great to see these graphic novels that Dark Horse is putting out with the Avatar characters, great stuff, I love it, and I'm sorry I did all that, looks like I was having an analyst myself. Uh, how long do you think Cobra from G.I. Joe could last in the Marvel Universe? Not very long. <laughs> Not very long. Look, I, 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 look, I love G.I. Joe, but Cobra sucks. Okay? Cobra wouldn't last a month in the Marvel Universe without either AIM, not even just the heroes, either AIM, Hydra, some... The, the Dark Order, all, the you know, the Dark Illuminati, all, from taking over them. No way. There's, there's, Co the, like, look, Cobra Commander is a bad leader. They're, they, almost, almost all of the other Cobra operatives, they follow him, but it, they really have no real faith in him. Destro, yeah, as much as But soon as they, Doctor, started making serpent, yeah, what happened? They were like, yeah, screw you. And even that, even him, he, he wouldn't last. The Marvel Universe is just too powerful for Cobra. They would get taken down like that, just like that. Believe. Last question. Charlize Theron uh, has stated that she's never gotten a call to be in a Marvel movie. Do you believe that? Um, it's The answer is yes and no. Because technically, in an MCU movie, no, I don't think so. But a Marvel movie, yes. She was actually, she was actually offered a part in the first X-Men movie. I don't know who she was going to play. I think they were either she was going to be Mystique in that. I don't know. But I would love to see that too. But don't get me wrong. Rebecca Romaine, you, you did your thing. I will always give you credit, baby girl, for that. Because you felt more like Mystique. And you stayed Mystique. You didn't stay. You didn't. You, 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 you really became that character. Okay, we didn't have to see your face every 20 seconds. Oh, let's let's see. You know, no nothing against Jennifer Lawrence, but the fact that she she was always looking like herself in those movies just bothered me. I'm like, that's not Mystique. I love that line where she's talking to her son, and she says, 
where he's like, why don't you just stay someone else, you know, all the time. Well, nobody has to bother you or anything. What did she say? Because we shouldn't have to. And then what happens in the first at first first class? What did she say? Hey, Beast, remember, mutant and proud. What happens in no other movies? Yes, yeah, she, she's so-called proud to be a mutant. She keeps hiding herself. Whatever. But to answer your question, technically yes and no. She was offered a part in the X-Men movie, which is technically a Marvel movie, and though it's under, it's under Fox. So, technically yes and no. Okay? Well, thank you for the questions, guys. I appreciate it as always, guys. Um, this is a fun edition because if you can't make the live stream, you know, then I'll... I do always have an opportunity to get a question out on these. And even though sometimes it's not, I'm not answering it live, but it happens. But I always have a lot of fun answering your questions. And with that being said, guys, this is my friend Keith. You're out. Bidding you peace with love. Stay tuned. Keep it real as always. Deuces.